The tourney at Mandeside had proved a mighty success, even with most of the events still to come. The whole thing had served as a needed distraction from the war against the Greyjoys and the droughts which had come through the Crownlands only the year before. The food and wine was plentiful, and there seemed to be golden structures and jeweled everywhere you turned. It didn't compare to the wealth of the rock, though there was a certain beauty that couldn't be matched in the region. The green hills, the mighty trees, and the mighty castle of Highgarden, with what seemed to be a million walls towering in the distance, always just beyond reach. It had been a day since the archery tournament, one which Lord Kevin had felt certain he would win and the anger of his failure had still not passed him. With only the melee and the duels to redeem himself, it had become his sole and total goal, the young lord foregoing feasts and pleasantries to train himself in the quiet of night, only an attendant or two alongside him. He enjoyed the silence, in truth. It gave him time to think, to reflect. He had spent weeks, months, focusing on hunting, training with the bow, Yet in the final split of the tourney, his arrows had fallen short. He'd never missed his mark in battle, never missed a moving target in the woods. He had a motionless target only 20 feet across from him. He missed it entirely, his arrow striking the dirt before it. Anger rising, he continued to strike his blade against the training doll, cutting into it with such fury that the hay inside began to falter and empty with each cut, till there was nothing left but an empty sack. He'd failed. He let himself fail. No, it, it was a setback. That was all. His life was not determined by a turning. It was determined by his actions, by his power. It was determined by his legacy. His legacy. It was then a thought filled Kevin's head. A thought of his father. He'd sworn vengeance of him, sworn to kill for him. Yet he'd done nothing to cement his father's legacy. He tried for a short time to hunt for the killer, yet the power had made him forget that goal. Forget the need. It's an internal chase for more, he thought. But how could he end such a chase? By cementing his power. Claiming his position. Once he was unopposed, once he had his goal. Perhaps then he could learn of his father, then he'd have the resources, he'd have the little birds in every court. He'd have everything he needed to scrape that old scab and find the fresh blood. Yes, just one more mount of the climb, one more title, and he'd be ready. He'd be a lord of our comparison, one able to cement it, the legacy of House Crate. He acted in his mind as if that had always been his plan, always been his desire. And perhaps it had been. Or perhaps it was just an excuse. Some excuse his mind came up with to explain why he'd failed his father. Why he'd abandoned the one goal he set. Forgotten his father every step of the way. He left that empty sack behind and returned to his tent, resting himself before the melee. Resting his mind and his soul. Whether it was an excuse or not, that didn't matter. There was a path before him. To secure the fang to build his legacy, and then he'd avenge his father, no matter what. Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones, where we are playing as a Lord Kevin Crate, ruling over Serpent Hall. And uh, we are enjoying ourselves so far. We are spending some time here in the Reach uh, at a tourney. Hopefully we'll do quite well in the, the later stages of that. Um, thank you guys so much on the comments so far. Especially some comments deciding on what the name's going to be for this region when we conquer it. Uh, if you do enjoy the series, please do leave a comment, leave a like, just so I know you guys are enjoying it and keeping up with it. Uh... You know, each part does get less or less viewers, so having likes and comments lets me know that the people who are watching are watching because they enjoy it. And that's that's what I really care about, is that you guys enjoy what I'm making. <laughs> and, yeah, so a little bit of housekeeping before we start is I have to end the Greyjoy War because this game is... <sighs> this game's fun. Uh, 
the Greyjoy war basically would lead to the Reach consistently joining the war, which would end this tourney, and it would constantly lead to Tywin going to war over and over again with Robert. I believe it's probably because Robert has... Yeah, he has crowns of the Reach and of, like... This is added by a mod, but I really think them adding these has just caused more problems than it should have, because all of these crowns now are just sort of stuck and held. And these ones kind of don't make sense. These wouldn't be in the Iron Thrones collection. These are sort of the crowns which you would still have in these regions. Like, famously, obviously, um, Renly uh, has a crown when he declares himself king. Rob has a crown when he declares himself king. Like, you would have these stuff and they would be in these regions. They wouldn't be held by him. It's just obviously if he, they aren't held by him, they'll all be wearing them. But easier solution is to have them like held by event or something. Okay. Heading ourselves into the melee. I mean, with the prowess we have, I hope we have a good chance in this. Especially since there's always a prize. But I think uh, it's also somewhat based off your... Oh, yeah, I'll be a steward again, even though I hate you. <laughs> but I, I can't claim your title just yet. I need a tiny bit more prestige to claim that. But when I do, you are you are screwed. Here we go, the melee begins. Ooh. 50-50 chance. I'll take the 50-50. Oh, good, good, good. 35 gold to beckon over the cellar. I'll take that chance. I really want to win the melee, so... Take the 61%. I hope it goes our way. One more push, Ben. One final push. Triumph. For the first time. Triumph. At the tourney. We get 350 prestige, 80 gold, and a melee victor. Fortunately, I wasn't the leader of that team. Lord Roderick was. But very good nonetheless. I'm not on track to qualify for the duels. Which should also be pretty tough. Let's head to the tents. I can't ask them to sell me. I sure hope he's not in the uh the the duels because if I'm going up against Barristan to sell me, I do not have much of a chance. That man has every stat maxed. Oh, we're playing Lord Garrison of Lands Point, our own lord. I'm definitely ready to face him. Oh, Lord Maribald attempted to sabotage Lord Garrison? Does that have an effect on me? No, it just disqualifies him. I've got you now. We'll take the 81. Yes. Remember my training. Hmm. Ooh, is that a quick, a quick victory over our own lord? <laughs> Not for long. Lord Paramount Mace's wife, diplomatic skill. This guy's already injured, and he's low prowess. We'll definitely take on this fight. Okay. Not sure what's tragic about that. I, what? I'm confused. I thought the duel was meant to be... I'm very confused. I thought the duel was meant to be you fight one, then you go on to the next, and you go on to the next. But I beat my man, and then I didn't move on to the next round? 
Did I click something wrong? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe it's just a glitch because that was very weird. How on earth was this guy picked to be the team leader over me? Was it just seniority? Eh, maybe. Right, let's head back home. Do have anybody idle? You're a bit idle. Let's get you back on finding secrets in Castle Rock. Iwin's going to war with Balin. What over? God, if I see the words artifact claim war one more time, I think I may go mad. Uh, but if it's just one on each side, then that should be an easy win. And we have returned home. Now let's take a look at this. Are we ready to strike? Independence War. Oh, right, because I need to do... Where is it? Here we go. Get a claim on his title. Now I can declare him war for it. And I can call in my close and dear ally, Lord Ronald, the little baby boy. Fight for me like your father fought with me. Let's get close to the case keep. I'm going to lose a tiny bit of gold as this war goes on because we are our army is a little bit bigger than our size would allow. Yeah, immediately he's going to run off case keep. Ooh, don't want to attack him though. I think he's... Let's... Yeah, we get a tiny bit of gold. Well, it's a bit make this war last a little bit longer. He's going right in for the attack. Uh, I'll attack when he's near. Oh no, he's running? No, I can't let him run. The Battle of Low Market. And he killed my leading knight. Or my commander. My commander? My commander. Just died there. Should win this, but we have lost a lot of men in this battle. Now we need a new knight in charge of the army. Looks like the Lannisters are doing well against House Greyjoy. Yeah, look at that sieging down Pike. Only 5,000 men left for Balaam. I wish I could see what artifact this is over, but it's sadly not very... Hang on, if I do enforce the mantle, show me, right? The crown of Geralt the Great. Wow. <laughs> Didn't realize Balin had that. Maybe it was... um. Maybe it was taken back uh, the, in the last millionth time these two <laughs> went to war. Because they've been to war many times. Who are you? Who are you? How are you? Nine prowess? No. No, 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 no. I'm gonna murder you. I'm not having a knight with nine prowess. Be one of my acclaimed. Saw so somebody suggesting that I should name the acclaimed knights after, like, snakes and stuff, and I think that's a good idea. Once we take Land's Point, I'll be renaming it to its new, more, uh, fitting title. Please stay on that siege. Don't follow me. They're going to follow me. God, it's so, like... Because I can't direct them to fight this, but we need to fight this so they don't siege my capital. But, oh, goodness me. It's just, I can fight it alone, and they know I can fight it alone, but instead the game's like, no, 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 they want to come with you. Because they're so loyal that they want to give up the siege you had 50% progress on. Because we know that you just love... CK3 compared to CK2 and how you're only three episodes in and you've already had to do about nine edits to make the game actually stable because it keeps falling apart because it's broken. I can get a strong hook on Arian. I 
Why would I care about that? Why would I want a strong hook on her? I truly could not see any reason for that. It doesn't seem to make a huge difference on my income, switching him off of this one. I guess it's because I probably didn't have many vassals where the tax would apply. So we'll keep him on that then. Get them back on increasing case. Should have a different maester, right? Yeah. We can upgrade basically most of these. Hmm. Now I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I always have a little bit of tyranny, you know. That's how you prove yourself a good ruler. Just a tiny bit of tyranny. I remember in uh, CK2 you'd have the uh, tyrannical ruler trait, which was interesting, very interesting. Especially the time I had every single uh, Lannister ruler ever. Let's keep going, I, there has to be something there. How long left on the siege? We have three months on the siege. And then the title's all ours. Master Egon escaped. Do I have any other prisoners? Because I can't let them escape. Yeah, let's torture you instead. <laughs> Let's just torture all of you. Especially since I no longer have the uh, piety modifier on it. Who? I only mess with you when it's Ty when I can get a hook on. <laughs> Pay, he paid the ransom. No. I can hold this. Rank gained. High Lordship of Lands Point. I don't think so. It should be the High Lordship of the Fang. There are a lot of different options like Serpent's Fang, uh, Adder's Fang, that kind of stuff. I think the Fang makes most sense because when they got when you know in this world there are stuff like those sort of things like it, you end up with rather than it being like veil's fingers or, or something specific it's just the fingers or the neck you know that kind of thing i think the fang works well here but you guys were right this is more like a fang than a, a tail now we need to get your title off you am i able to revoke um he has protected we can fix that and then we just lower his feudal levies. He's cool with it. And now we can revoke when his truce ends. Oh, wonderful. Let's disband these armies. And admire the Fang, our new title. Let's get Case Keep under control as well, please. That already moving up in the world. And I'm sure Tywin's taken note at this point, which is why probably we need to be very careful with expansion now. I do want to get a claim on Boraline because what you are able to do is you can petition the Lord. So I want to see if I can get him to give me House Boraline, give me Fair Isle, you know, that kind of thing. It's it's definitely possible, though. He also has a huge chance of rejecting. 
Let's make some upgrades. Let's get some walls and towers in our capital. You scare the speaker's mind. Basically, well, I can scare my council into respecting me, or I can make him a trusted counsellor. Um, game, and I would fire him from my council. He's good, right? Yeah, he's fine. Give him extra diplomacy. You have not annoyed me yet, though probably you will soon. We can create a new accolade. This time we'll pick someone who's actually got good prowess. Why Why are these successors always crap? No, we want a successor who's okay at the very least. I don't want a successor who's total crap. Like, he's fine, yeah. That one's all good. Force you to be a knight so maybe you'll one day die. Store accolades. Makes a difference of one and a couple, like ten men. We'll keep it on a normal then. Let's get the abduct scheme because that's a very useful one. Because I want to abduct you, if possible. Ah, uh, it would be very difficult. Very, very difficult. As a joke, uh, could I abduct you? That would be the same difficulty. <laughs> Equal difficulty for both Lord Tywin and this random dude who serves beneath me now. The weak house prester, as it shall be known. Holds oh, my boy now. 13. An okay stat array on his stewardship focus. Kevin Kevin already has like better stats in a lot of areas than, than his uh, brother does. And obviously his brother now has disputed uh, heritage on him. I think it may be time to disinherit him. Can make him take vows, maybe? No, he still wouldn't. Um, send him to the Citadel? Being, yeah, being my heir will mean that he's basically never going to accept those. Disinheritance would be my only matter. I lose general opinion for this and dynasty opinion, but if I'm going to have a heir... This, this one, obviously, in CK3 mind, it's because this kid's way better, but in my mind, I'm not having an heir who may not be mine. Born of a different mother. Forever questions about his legacy. It doesn't seem to look like me at all. Whereas these two look a lot like their mother. With a little bit of me in them. So I think that these are at the very least stronger. Oh, my wife is pregnant again. Increased development. In Serpentine. Yes, please. The steward on Tywin's council. Wonderful, wonderful. He did say if I proved myself, I could be on his council. So <laughs> hopefully I've proved myself. I would have thought going up a level would have given me the extra domain limit. I guess not. I can give the Kinhold away, I think. It would be either Kinhold or Clever Keep. Um, Kinhold. Because it's a higher level city. It's a sex, level 2 city. But the quarry here is just a lot better. So we can grant you away to... Even my disinherited... No, we'll grant you to my son. Have it be the uh, prince's title. Because that was a very common thing, is that the princes would hold a title. In CK3, I discovered there was a lot of problems with that, where I, specifically I could no longer be his guardian, which was kind of stupid, but no, no, you still can in CK3. 
Oh dear, did lose my uh, spy master doing that. It's fine. This war's still going on. And now he's in another war. He is in a war with... A liberty war, probably because he's raised taxes or raised crown authority. But uh, Tywin soon to reclaim his... Uh, his corner, they'll probably put it on and it'll look very stupid, but... Oh, I'm no longer having that wet nurse. Can I get a new one then? You'll do. Do we're getting domain taxes up? Another daughter, Scylla, no, no, Taisha. Um, do I really only have poor aptitude? On my domain taxes. It's still a minimum of 10%, so I guess I'll still take it, but that's a bit. Oh dear, Taisha's sickly. I would have thought I, it would be a bit higher. At least one person in my run would be higher. I guess not. We have a bit of money again. Oh, we're still building it there, though. I do want to mostly focus on my building in this region at least. King Stannis. So Robert died without children and didn't remarry after Cersei. We had bastards, but you know, actual children. Get that second bastard as well, the Mela. And now Stannis finds himself on the Iron Throne as there's no other ruler. Stannis has no children either. Nope, he immediately just had one. <laughs> Wow, what timing that is. House Riker. Ooh, yeah, definitely House Riker. I don't need to claim. Oh, no, that was a Borderline claim. I should have gone for that. Oh, well, we'll wait for next time. I, was, I thought I had a claim on there for some reason, but no, that was the Borderline claim. Oh, well. Prince Dennis is now heir, which has pushed Renly from succession a little bit. One-eyed Renly. What happened to him? He's got a million traits here. Hmm. That's right. Never forget a divine is on your side. Ambitious is fine for him. Ambitious is good for anyone, really. It's a very strong trait, and it's one I have. It makes sense that he, he'd push to be ambitious too, even if he's no longer directly in succession. He still can be in my house and wear my armors, but he cannot claim to be my heir. Although apparently Pike is impossible to beat. Goodness me. The 33 prowess now. Is there a hunt we could do, maybe? Let's have a look at uh, hunts. Is there anywhere super strong? Nothing especially strong. This is three plus of no negatives. Let's do a hunt here. Get a new caravan master. You can't be late, it's my own thing. I can't really be late when it's my own Tony here. Soon. Lots of guests coming. Hosting it in my boys' lands in Ekadine. Can see a roe, can see a wolf, can see a hare, stag. Hmm. We decrease greatly is the problem, but a row is nothing compared to a stag. Let's hunt the stag. Hmm. 
You give Stefan, my Admiral, a... Hmm. No, I want the Hunting Raptor. Or Stefan. A mighty creature. Be a mediator. I do have a way with words. Attempt to ambush it with a bow. Or corner it. I mean, I've killed everything else with the bow. Why not? Lord Kevin of the Fang. I'm writing to all lords of Westeros to let them know the truth that has been in for so long. Despite what you may have thought, John was in fact born to the Union of Lyanna and Prince of Rhaegar of Dragonstone. I ask that you and the rest of the realm recognise the new reality and the implication it brings. I can't believe he'd reveal that. Soon as Rutt dies, he's willing to reveal that, um... John is, uh... Heir to the Iron Throne? So he's no longer listed as his child, is he? How's this work now? Is he now listed as, um... Lyanna's? Yeah, he is. Prince John Snow Targaryen. A bastard of House Targaryen. This doesn't really give him a claim unless his thing was gone. No, he does have a claim, but not the strongest claim. Oh, it would kill Lord Garrison. 28% chance he dies. 65% chance I'm wounded and maybe discovered as wounding him and thus a success chance would drop but it could kill him when is my truce end truce ends I can't actually see do I have to check on my side yes I do it ends in three years let's take the chance Ah, uh, misses, but he didn't suspect anything. Yeah. Prowess challenge. 65%. Ah, uh, missed, and it escaped. Damn. Let it be known that John has been instructed to make a public and legally binding statement absconding any and all claims to the throne and related titles. Any lord or lady aiming or aiming found aiding him to avoid or otherwise argue their way out of this demand shall be deemed a traitor to the realm. Well, it does make sense that you tell John to drop his claim. But will he? That's the real question. Oh, we did get the stack. I get... My my whole artifact collection is basically just a collection of um <laughs> stag now row antlers, stag antlers and the uh, lion's claws. A lion still has paws. Although in this case it is actually his claws. The Trust Forest Here lay Saint Joran of the Fang, blessed son of here of Herde. It seems like a spiritual figure is being patronized in these parts. Um, we'll let them have their local saint. A realm at war. The North has pushed the claim of John. The War of Snow, it is being called. Currently is only the North and the Iron Throne. And it seems like some of the Northern Lords aren't even standing with him on this. Okay, I... Hmm. He's remained neutral, so I will remain neutral. Because I want to remain under Tywin still. Let's just see if anybody else sides in this war. Because if it's just these two, then... The North has a chance. Entirely because the numbers... They're not even, but they're not terrible numbers either. Of course, it makes sense that Renly would side with uh, Stannis on this. Station men at arms. Wonderful. Let's station these guys. In case. I could increase either increase their size or build something to seven all. I'd rather get a building done. 
don't care. I can increase my son's feudal taxes. Be plus one. Or is that be like plus a hundred men? Um I increased both of these, but then gave him title revocation. It would work out. But we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. We'll just use a hook to get more taxes, I think. Because the more he grows, the more benefit I get from that. I'll negotiate an alliance with my son. It really does seem like it's just going to be the North standing alone for Jon Snow's claim to the throne. Surely this will be a win for, for Stannis, especially if he has Renly on his side. But the North has no allies. He's a lot of kids he could marry off, but he's married them to Northern Lords. Yeah, almost entirely to Northern Lords. That's clever. And then Kira hasn't even been married off. Um... Damon Vickery. Get some, yeah. You don't want to marry Lana Riker anymore, even though they're a strong ally. No, you'll have. You will marry. You will do as I command, and you will marry Loras Tyrell. Not many allies in this. <laughs> Very weak side. I mean, Tywin joining would seal either side of the war, but I think... Like, he literally it will never end this war because he just can't siege this, and the game is too stupid for him to realise he can't siege it. It's very painful. He just, if these 4k knights move on to hit those provinces, they will siege it down. But instead, they are sieging down Iron Holt. For whatever reason that may be. Let's build some either hunting grounds or farm fields. I think hunting grounds. Just because of how, many, how much hunting we've been doing. Makes sense to build it up in Serpent Hall. Maybe sieging this down will, will change war score enough. I don't think so, though. I wouldn't spend so many years in this war. It's reached a point now where Tyrion, his only heir, now has children of his own. Of normal heights. So maybe that might convince Tywin to let Tyrion be his heir just because he's got normal kids. Well, one kid is a dwarf. But the other kid isn't, so give him a chance. This this uh He's attacking Stannis as well. Why did he join this war? Little Tilla here joined the war alongside all of these houses for the War of Snow. Which looks like they still haven't even met, probably. My wife's pregnant again. Need a new wet nurse. We have a bit of money. Let's build Westerland Footmen. Yes. Yeah, so it's a proper Lannister Knights. Or, I guess, Westerland Knights. You know, they would still be loyal to House Lannister. Because I'm loyal to House Lannister. And I'm, and is steward now. Reason exactly as he said I could to be a member of his council. Surprised we have houses standing um, neutral and against the Stormlands in this war. In fact, they've won the first battle by the looks of it. Must be, must have been against a smaller deployment of the army. Where is uh, Stannis's army? It says he's on a ship. Must be on a ship leaving um, the Red Keep somewhere. Interesting.
the seed is strong as Emma continues to grow. Am I just going to have this for all of my children? I must learn the truth. Okay, Emma's my child. Good. Maybe it's just an event that keeps firing over and over. I'm not heading all the way down to Ironwood for a tournament. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Spent our alliance with Duskendale. You know, 98% on this Greyjoy war. One more province and it'll finally be over. But you are not going to be able to siege down Pike. Two years on that, whereas it's only... I mean, 20 months isn't that much different, is it? <laughs> I guess both are kind of going to take a long time. Well, with the realm at war between North and South, and Tywin doing his own thing again, we've cemented ourselves a very strong position here as uh, Lords of the Fang, with our three major houses, and as we get rid of you, soon to be four. Uh, and we can begin making slow expansions into this region as well, as our wealth is uh, beginning to climb and climb and climb. Thank you guys so much for the support on the series so far. It's meant everything to me, and uh, I hope to keep getting these episodes out for you guys to enjoy. And we have a mystery still to solve. Well, Kevin, he's enjoyed the wonders of life, but has he truly forgotten about what happened to his father? Well, I'm sure the next piece of the mystery is soon to fall. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I've certainly loved this. And I hope to see you guys all in the next episode. Until then. <laughs>